This long stretch of sweltering temperatures is hard on all of us, but it's especially tough on our farmers. The hotter the weather and drier the conditions mean less crops coming in. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs takes us to the farm and shows us how these temperatures are impacting crops like corn and soybeans. It got it germinated, but not enough moisture to allow it to grow. So that bean is perished. It'll rain all rest of the week and it'll have no effect on it. Katessa Farms have been in the McDonald family for five generations. Every year has its challenges. Every year is different. This year has been tougher than most. We will have less crops to sell this fall than what we have been having just because we don't have the rain that will produce the volume of bushels that we need. The weather has been an ongoing problem for farmers this year. George McDonald says it's not just the dry conditions, but also the excessive heat, making it hard for his corn and soybeans. This year, we might have a few farms that happen to catch a little rain that was planted at the critical time, might touch that, but we've got fields that I think 70 or 80 bushel is probably going to catch that. Not all of Tennessee has been unusually dry but everyone's been impacted by the heat. The issue is, is when you look down through here, these soybeans should be uh, every few inches apart down through here. And as you can see, there's nothing. That's where the soybean was planted, right there. McDonald says this will impact all of us. Agricultural is something that we all take for granted because it's so silent in the background. Farmers go about doing their job, growing the crops, raising the livestock, producing the fiber that feed and clothe all of us. And we take all that for granted. We've had more than 20 consecutive days of extreme heat and farmers are praying for a break. Tell Brie to send the rain this way this time. <laughs> In Smith County, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. I know she would if she could. McDonald says he will have fewer crops to sell this year. The last time he had a year this bad was back in 2012. Another unusually hot and dry summer.